In this video, I will show you how you can set up Convergent API or what we call CAPI with Go High Level very easily. So this is a very easy setup with a funnel created inside Go High Level. And if you're running Facebook ads and you're sending traffic to a Go High Level landing page and you want to track conversions using CAPI, not the browser and metapixel conversion tracking, this video is for you. So let me just give you an idea of the funnel we are going to work with in this video. Let's go to sites. And this is again a test sub account. So I'm going to use this funnel called my funnel. The idea is we are running Facebook landing page ads, not instant formats and sending traffic to this landing page. And when they come to this landing page, they'll see the video, they'll get all the information. But if they click on any button, it will take them to the form over here. And if they submit this form, we can count it as a conversion and we need to count it as a conversion and send it to Facebook ads through conversion API. That's basically what we're going to do in this video. So the form name is contact form. The form is created inside go high level. As you already know, the form will be up here under form builder. So this is the form we are going to work with contact form, right? Now let's go to automation and let's create the very simple workflow we need to create for this. Now you can set up the other contact form automations. Like when this form is submitted, you add them to the pipeline, you add a tag, you send them a confirmation, you get a notification. This video is not about that. So I will skip all those. I'll just show you the action that you need to do to send a conversion event to Facebook ads using CAPI. So let's create a workflow. We'll just start from scratch and the workflow name landing page form then to CAPI. Now the trigger will be form submitted as we already know. And the form will be multiple contact forms. So I don't know which one I'm working with. So that's why I've selected both, but you can just select one in your case. And now I'll just select the Facebook conversion API action. Now you can name it an action name. The connection type will be integration not ad manager. And then here, the event type will always be funnel event. If you're doing a landing page campaign, if you are doing an instant form campaign and you were to send qualified lead information to ad manager using CAPI, you need to select this, but because we are doing conversion tracking, we, we will select funnel event. Now let's go to our Facebook business manager. We need to configure the pixels. Now I will go to the pixel here. This is the business manager. This is not the pixel yet. So this is business settings again, business.facebook.com go to the left and then select the gear icon. This will bring you to the setting page for that business, right? And then you need to go to data sources, go to data sets and pixels. Glad they changed the name finally. Now, if you have a pixel already set up, you can use that. But in this example, I'll just create a new pixel so I can show you how it's done from scratch. Let's add a new pixel from here under data sources, data sets and pixels. So I'll say WP is wellness practice. So this is just a test account he used to make videos, but you can keep this check marked and then create the data set. All right. And then go to assign people and assign it to ourselves. And then we also need to go to connected assets and connect it to the ads account. So the ad account we have under this business, we'll just select add. Okay. Email verification is needed. That's totally fine. I'll just verify the email real quick. Okay. Put it here and submit. So if you don't know how to set up business manager and how to connect the page and the ad account and all that stuff, there's a video uh, in this video's description. So you can go ahead and check it out to set this thing up. I know it can be complicated for someone like for those who are just getting started with Facebook ads, go ahead and watch that video. Hopefully it will be very useful. Now, we have connected ourselves to the pixel so we can use it. And then we have also added it to our ad account. So this pixel can be integrated with the ad account now. So if we do a quick refresh, we can see the ad account connected under this pixel or data set. And then we will just go to events manager from here. Once we are in the events manager, we need to make sure we have selected the right pixel here and then click on set up conversion API. Now we will say we want to set it up manually. Go to conversion API and Metapixel. Do next, start CAPI setup and hit finish. Now this is the configuration window. This is where you will configure all your events you want to track with CAPI. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the only events you would track. Maybe there are events that you want to track in the future that you haven't decided yet. So you can select those as well in this window. I'll show you how. Okay. So once it's done, I'll just continue. And then here you need to select the right category. 
So if the business category is not listed here, you just select other business category, which is totally fine. Now, what do we want to track? We definitely want to track lead. We want to track schedule. If it's an e-commerce, I would track purchases as well. I would track abandoned cart, you know, add to cart, all those stuff. But in my case, I will just track lead and schedule. That's basically what I'm after for this type of business. I'll hit continue and I'll just do this. So for lead event, I want to send these signals. So definitely event ID, nothing else needed. This is how Capi identifies the lead using the event ID. And you need to basically send all these information to add using Capi. So I'll just select all these and then same thing for schedule. That was for the lead event. So same thing for schedule, identify by the event ID and then send all these signals to ads manager or ads account or your ads using so once done hit continue yes we can confirm and hit continue we don't need to send ourselves instructions and setup that's what we are basically doing in this video now once that's done we will go to the window where we can generate something called an access token so the access token is what we need to configure capi on go high level so once it's loaded we can just go here generate access token right select data set wp data set that we just created generate access token okay once done i'll just copy this and then i'll go back to my workflow now so just put it under access token here and here you just mark it as finished nothing else needed from here but we do need one more thing. We need the ID of this pixel or the data set. So once it's loaded, I'll go to settings for this data set. And I will select the data set ID from here and put it under pixel ID. Now, because it's a form submit, I'm selecting the lead event here. You can just put an estimated value. This could be a lifetime value, the average lifetime value of your leads. And then currency, no test code needed, save action. But I'm keeping the value empty. That's totally fine. Once it's done, just hit publish and hit save. That's all you need to do to set up conversion API on go high level. Now I'll show you how to create a campaign that will involve this workflow or this tracking. Let's go back to our business manager. We will go to ad accounts. Let's just open it up in a new ads manager. But if you want to go directly to your ads account, you can go adsmanager.facebook.com. And from this toggle, select the right account. Now I'll create a new campaign. That's fine. Just select lead, continue. And then here, just put a budget on the campaign level. Or if you want to do ad set budget optimization, just turn it off and do ad set budget. Go to the ad set, select website. And here, maximized number of conversions is fine, but the data set will be WP data set we created. And the conversion event, very important, it needs to be lead. I know it shows inactive right now, but once the first conversion comes in, it will be active and it will start working. And that will also be tracked. So that's pretty much what you need to do on the ad set level to involve this conversion event we just set up. Now, whenever a new lead comes from this ad basically a person watches this ad that we, you will configure and publish and then goes to the landing page by clicking on the ad and submits the form that will be counted as a conversion all credit goes to the conversion api event that you have set up in go high level workflows so that's pretty easy setup i would say and hopefully this was really clear to you after watching this video and again this video hopefully was useful subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will see you in the next one